today, I'm going to be exposing the fucking video I finally got back of the fucking roach infestations in those autism homes I was telling y'all about. Let's get into this shit, because this, this is about to be a fucking annihilatory refutation of these fucking scumbags known as the Frank D. Lerneman Regional Center. So, for those who don't know, I was in previously in group homes in the state of California for people with autism, and the group homes were called Rob Sag Inc. As a matter of fact, the home I'm about to show you specifically called Hamilton's Raymond House. They abuse disabled people and elderly people, so to be quite honest, I do not care if this ends up leading to that. Sorry, shouldn't be a fucking dickhead and should not be abusing people who you know don't know better. But anyways, so when I was living there, there was fucking roach infestations. At least from, I got video of it. I thought I had lost that footage to time. I thought my, I thought it didn't have it archived, or I thought it was fucked. And I finally was able to go through and figure out a way to get it back from my archives. So, for those who don't know, this is the video I'm talking about. And now, you wonder why I hate the media. Well, notice how the media has never reported on that thing. There are act, and I've actively reported this to the health department, to the point where the feds got involved, and nothing, no, no, no reporting on it ever. Why? Because they make money off this shit. They make money off just abusing low functioning people, people who cannot talk because they are so low functioning. People are so mentally out there because of their old age. They make money off those people. They make money off abusing those people. Now, luckily, I actually have a voice. I can actually stand up for this shit. And I did not give a flying fuck if they cared or not. To a point where they actually had me thrown in jail with no police report at all. And, was, and I was there for a week when the legal amount was three days. They are fucking lucky I never had the funding to sue them. Because, holy shit, the amount of fucking police misconduct in that, they never read me my Miranda rights, which, by the way, is a legal violation if they're sending you to jail. They told me it was a 50 and 50, they're sending you to a hospital, which they never did. They put me out the DNA jail, then send me over to Men's Central. And on top of that, these people basically had tried to have me thrown in jail fucking third world journalist style. Like... And I somehow was able to come out of that. So I just want to let you guys know, like, this is the seriousness I bring this up in. Like, this is the type of serious shit. I, this is why I hate the media. It's not even the fact that they're fucking dishonest. It's that they're pure fucking evil. They are the most despicable human beings on the face of the fucking planet. Because you know what? They are so worried about what their fucking donors want, about what pharmaceutical industries are donating to them, about how they're getting money, about how like this off the backs of people who do not fucking know better, who cannot talk, who literally are unable to communicate. And the one guy that stood up to that was me. We're going to go over the company right now, because I can show you all the lawsuits they're involved in, too. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, they don't fucking pay their people worth shit. They'll pay them minimum wage, if that, because a lot of them, no offense to those people, the staff were, a lot of the staff were good, but a lot of them were fucking dog shit. But the ones that were good, I'm sorry about this, I just, again, but yeah. They don't get paid for shit. They, pay, they get paid less than McDonald's workers to clean up human feces and all this stuff from people who sadly don't know better, which I don't blame those people because they don't know better. They can't even talk. They're so low functioning. And that's not a knock on them. It's just the reality of the situation. And so these people get paid worse than McDonald's workers are, are expected to keep some sort of cool. Like there were like when I was in those homes, Panda Express was paying like $18 an hour just or uh, for I think a manager, like 16 for a cook. The people who worked in those group homes are getting paid about $14 an hour. Just for context. So yeah, they have fucking atrocious workplace things. It's fucking disgusting. But let's get into the lawsuits now. At least six lawsuits. Oh no. Wrongful labor practice. Motor vehicle injury. Oh no. What? Contractor war- oh. Yeah. Like, look at these fucking scumbags. So here's the- here's their game plan. You ready? It's- 
they know they can make more money than they would have to pay out on a just regular basis. So basically what happens is these group homes get paid $6,000 to house a client, $3,000 per, on top of that, they get $3,000 per month per medication a client's on. So in essence, what's happening is they're being paid to drug up a bunch of people who don't know better for money, basically. They're just drugging people for money. That's why I'm against these news agencies. Nobody report on that. What, what, what? Do you think, what, do you think the, the fact that I got arrested, this is why I literally have joke around with people, but it's actually serious. I have this ongoing joke I tell that I'm the least known persecuted person because I genuinely, genuinely would like to see you na anyone name a person that has been thrown in prison, not thrown in prison, rather, that's been for convicted, thrown in jail, accused of crimes I did not commit, with no police report, purposely filed with a certain type of mental health report that is typically reserved for Baker acting somebody. So I could not get the records. Do you think that that person, okay, and you probably never heard of me either, honestly, like, which is why I think I hate, so not even think, I know I hate the media nexus. Because actually, if they actually did real investigative journalism, they would find out that these companies are fucking abusing people and they're getting profiting off the medical abuse of, of older people and people with massive disabilities. And nobody seems to think that's a bit weird. No, uh, they don't care. They don't care. Why? Because there's too busy fucking reporting on uh, oh, the, the neo Nazi storms Hollywood goes into Hollywood bar. Oh no, that's the thoughts of Ford Reich. Oh no, cop shoots black person. Oh no, racism, even though he was in another incident and being violent as well with a deadly weapon ma majority of the time, if not all of the time, sometimes. It just cries out to racism. Oh, gay person beat up, homophobia. That's that's basically all they're fucking good for, okay? They're good for sucking the dick of their owners, okay? And they give that good gawk, too. That fucking gawk gawk, you know? That, that fucking good sloppy. Because, holy shit, man. Yeah, dude. Fuck California. As, as again, I'm the first, like I said, I'm the first. I would be the first person to shit on California every moment I get. Because they are a fucking hellscape. And they fucking tolerate this shit. Why? Because they're just fucking pieces of shit. They're corporate hogwash. So yeah. Fuck you, Rob Sack. If this blows up, fucking sue me, bitch. Come on now. And you know who I am, Ann Hamilton. I'll, I, will, I will make sure that I will make videos doing all this stuff. Because hopefully the moment I blow up, it will be the most regrettable day of your fucking life. Just want to add that to the end of it, because I want to make sure it's very, very clear why and where this is being directed to, and who it's being directed to. Because you, oh, I will hope to God she knows my, she will know me by name. Because I will be the one to take this down, along with anyone who chooses to subscribe. Because these people are fucked in the head. They're fucked in the head. If they think they can do that to low-functioning people, and the general public should not know about it, and or not be disgusted. Because these are fucking degenerate scumbags. But anyways, peace.